everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Kenley. And we're with the Winkle. And today we're making flying bugs. bugs. Kenley, what's your favorite kind of bug? Mm, I think it's a butterfly. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I like butterflies, dragonflies, ladybugs. Well, today with our flying bugs, we're going to be talking about a helix and gravity. Do you know what gravity is? It pulls you down. That's right, gravity pulls you down. So everything on Earth has mass. Think of a marker or your body or your shirt. Everything you have is going to fall down, right? And thank goodness, or else we'd just float off the Earth, right? Yep. <laughs> Should we see what's in our kit today? All right. Two spirals of wire, clay, a hex bolt, a wire bender, dragonflies or butterflies, and two paper clips, one piece of wire. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff in our kit today. That's awesome. On top of everything else, you'll just need a fat marker or like a fat dry erase or highlighter or something like that. You don't want the skinny marker or a skinny pen or skinny pencil because that's not going to work. But something about this size is what you need and then we're ready to get started. Kenley, we're going to start by making a spiral. Some people call it a corkscrew and in science we call it a helix. Okay, so the helix is going to be made with our spiral of wire that we have and our fat marker. Now, this is probably the first time a lot of you have worked with wire, so I just gave you two because if you mess up the first one, you have a second try. Isn't that so nice? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna take your spiral and kind of open it up like this. The part on the right is pointing out towards you, away from you. Yeah, there you go. Now you're gonna take that part and hold on to your marker, grasp your marker, there you go, grasp your marker and then you put that wire between your thumb and the marker. And you're going to go with the curvature, see how now you're going with the curvature, it's already kind of curled. You're just going to wrap that wire around your marker while keeping your thumb holding the top. Sometimes your thumb has to scoot down just a little bit. Guys, this might be the first time you're using wire, so it could be tricky. Just keep trying and you'll get it. You'll get the hang of it. Um, if you are like four, five, six years old, you might need the help of a grown up or an older brother or sister. So we're just gonna keep making sure that our spiral is nice and tight. See how I'm pressing it down with my thumb. As I'm turning it, I'm pressing it to make sure that it's nice and tight around that marker. If there's like a kink or something in your spiral that you're making, you're going to want to set that one aside and get out the other wire and make it again because a kink in your helix is going to cause your flying bugs to fly off your helix. What's a kink? A kink is like when your wire goes like that, like a little bump. You don't have any in yours. Nice, okay, now just scooch it off. Nice, what we have made is called a helix. If we ever go too fast for you, you can always pause the video and then press play. Sometimes we fast forward or sometimes we just go faster than you. It's totally fine, just press pause and do your project, catch up with us and then you can press play. Okay, now we're gonna get out our clay. So what we're gonna be doing is putting this hex bolt in the clay with this spiral around it. So see how the spiral is a little bit too fat to fit around the hex bolt? We're just gonna tighten it up. So kind of the same thing we did before around our marker, but this time we're gonna hold it and try and tighten it, just the bottom, just those two or three bottom loops. Try and tighten it around the hex screw. Push it, squeeze it, pinch it in. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna just stretch up our helix a little bit. So this is what it looks like right here. We have it tight around our hex bolt and we stretch it out just a little bit above that. Now we're gonna smush it. I'm not sure if that's a scientific term <laughs> or smush. Smush it into your clay ball and then smush the clay up around it. This is my favorite part. Smushy, smushy, smushy. 
Now that we're done making our helix, we're gonna set that aside and start making our apparatus that our bugs are going to spiral on, okay? So you're gonna get out your piece of wire and your two paper clips. Now you only need one of these for this project to work, but because this is new for a lot of you and bending wire can be kind of tricky, I gave you three different pieces of wire to help you so that if you get it wrong the first time, you can always try again with another piece of wire. And what is inside of a paper clip? Um, wire. <laughs> okay, so this is the shape we're trying to make right here. See how in the middle it has this arch, this bend in the wire. So let's do that first. Now, if you're using a paper clip, you're going to have to straighten it out first Push those kinks out of it the best that you can. What one would be better for making a flying one? You know, it just depends. And I, you know what I love about the Winkle is that we're always trying to use the scientific method. We're always trying to say, I think this might work because of that. And then you test it and see if that worked or if it didn't and why it worked or why it didn't. So we have three pieces of straight wire I'm going to start with this one, my small piece of wire, but you can start with whichever one you want. So we're first going to bend it in the middle. And when you're bending it, you want to make sure those edges line up. You want to make this as symmetrical as possible. And this is the part, this bending part, where you might want to use your little wire benders to really squeeze that together and make that little loop as tight as you can. There we go. Now we're going to bend it back out and this you can just put your finger here and pinch it between your two fingers and bend it out on this side and bend it out on that side. You're going to want to bend it as close to that arch as you can. Okay so this part is a little bit different depending if you have dragonflies or butterflies. The butterfly is a sticker. So for the butterfly you're going to want to create like um, a flat area like this, you're going to want to bend it down and then out for your butterfly to stick on better. If it's a dragonfly, you just want it to be bent like that so that you can hook your dragonfly on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have this straight part that comes down. We're going to put your thumb right there and bend it down. And then we need to bend it back up, but that is so hard, especially with your little fingers. So we're going to use this uh, wire bender. We're going to put the wire in there and then use that leverage to just bend it back up. I'll show you again. So we're going to bend it down with our thumb like this. And then using our wire bender, we're going to bend it back up. So you're kind of putting a pinch in there the wire down there. Nice. Like I said, if you mess up, you have three tries, three options to try and get this wire just right. So if you have the dragonflies that are going to hook on, you're going to have everything flat like this. If you have the butterflies that stick on, you're going to turn the edges like that so that this is sticking up and the edges are flat down like that. We're gonna bring our helix back towards us. I'm gonna put my butterflies on my wire. Now these are stickers, so you have to be careful that they don't stick to your you know, table or your fingers because as you know with stickers, every time you stick it to something, it becomes less and less sticky. All right, so your dragonflies are on, my butterflies are on. Now if this works, I will be super impressed because this is one of those Winkle projects that takes a couple of times, a lot of adjustments sometimes to get it just right. So let's see if we have ours right. You're gonna put it on the top. Oh, mine hopped off already. It's kinda going. It kinda stopped, okay, so. The problem with both of ours is that it's dragging on our paper clip. Do you see that? I want to show everybody up here. See how my paper clip is dragging on the helix? So I am going to take this off. I'm going to put it upside down so that those stickers don't stick to my tabletop. And I'm just going to take each loop of my helix and stretch it out just a little bit more.
nice. Yeah, if you just like yanked on the whole thing, then you wouldn't have as much control over each separate loop. So that was good that you did each one by itself. There we go. Oh my gosh. It worked. That's so cool. Oh, do you want to have a race? Sure. All right. This is a great project that teaches not just about gravity and a helix, but also about symmetry because this apparatus right here, it's got to be pretty symmetrical, right? Because it's the balance. Some symmetry, meaning if you run a line down the middle of this, it's going to be the same on this side as it is on that side. So if it's if it's not symmetrical, this is a problem you might have at home. If it's not symmetrical enough, you might want to bend another wire and get it more symmetrical. And uh, another problem could be that this wire comes down too much and it's putting too much drag on your helix. So there's all sorts of troubleshooting you can do with this project to get it just right. And of course we gave them extra resources, more wire, more paper clips, so that you can keep trying and get it right. Kenley and I, I think we have ours just right. So we're gonna have a race. Go. Oh, yours totally won. Yours got stuck a little it bit. It got there. stuck a little bit. Okay, best two out of three. Ready? Go. It got stuck in there. Oh, right it there. does get stuck right there. I'm gonna stretch that out a little bit more. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my, mine got stuck there. Beep, beep. Yes! <laughs> one, finally. <laughs> I won, finally. you guys had so much fun making your flying bugs today. I know we had a great time and we learned so much too. And we want to see what you made and how it turned out at home. So if you have a grown up, take a picture or video of you and your flying bugs, post it on social media and have them tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. I hope you had a great time. Kenley, thanks for joining me today. You are a great companion for this flying bug project. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye.